What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Isabella Terra Tarot, back to it again. Gonna hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. If you need a personal, all the information will be linked in the description box below, along with my Cash App, PayPal, and Spiritual Shop on Etsy. All right, this is a general reading. The messages won't be for everyone. Um basically i feel like if you know how to listen to tarot you'll know whether it's for you or not you could have gemini somewhere in your chart but it's like energy is energy so this may resonate for you even if you're not gemini okay i feel like i need to say that for all them hate nice hussies that like to be <clears throat> Thumbs and down my video. That just lets me know you're the you're the person that we're talking about. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and get back in here. All right. So, what is going on, you guys? All right. So the cards that I pulled for my own deck before I got started, just to see where the energy was going for today, was this bitch is crazy, mastery, co-parent, and sugar mama. So, someone who feels like they've got a tie to, you know, a child that's like one of your children or, um, I feel like this is dealing with somebody who you've had some kind of bullshit go down with, okay? I feel like this person is trying to, um, get back into the equation using finances, um, or possibly inheritances. I feel like this might possibly be an older female, it feels like it's an older female and someone who felt like they had a lot of say so in a household situation almost like even if this is this could be talking about like a grandparent this doesn't even have to be talking about the actual parent of the child but the energy is more so someone who feels like they are entitled to a, a child okay and bi this bitch is crazy look i know it's about a kid okay so this message that's coming in spirit wants you to hear all right spirit's basically letting me let you know that you need to be aware in this time that there is um an energy trying to get back into your good graces who's coming trying to offer something um to mend a partnership it feels like it's very tangible um what they're trying to bring in i feel like this person possibly like deals with some sort of mental issue um that is not i don't feel like people speak on it or i feel like there's something about it that's hidden. There's something about this person's mental status that's hidden. Well, what I say. Like, I feel like this person, they may actually portray themselves to be a completely different person by day than they are by night. Um, this could be brought on by her drinking um, or some kind of recreational drug usage. I feel like this person is... Trying to figure out a way to one up you in this time. One up is the word that, like the the phrase that came to mind. One up you, all right. And it's like I feel like they're trying to think outside of the box at this point. It's like they're realizing something's not working. And the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again. I feel like this person is trying to figure out a new way to come in and get some. Get your attention, okay? I feel like... <sighs> yeah, you have shut this person out. You have shut this person out. Like, they feel utterly defeated, okay? Whoever this is that I'm talking about, they feel defeated. They want to come back in. They want to be a part of your life. They want to have some kind of say so well, i feel like this person was in some kind of prominent position okay but i really feel like they got dropped they got cut they got x the fuck out of the picture all right and i feel like this person it's like it's, a, it's definitely a very greedy individual whether they're actually they were greedy with their finances or greedy with their time there's something about this me 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 is what i heard okay so this person was a very me 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 arrogant individual that you were dealing with Okay, and I feel like they're actually making this about me, me, me. Like, they're making it about them. Okay, I feel like somebody's definitely um, feeling some kind of... I don't see regret here. 
but I feel like they're feeling heartache and pain over the rejection. Okay, I feel like we're in this pity party energy again. Like I really, I really feel like this person wants to get back in and it's like they just don't know how they're going to get back in. Okay, like I feel like this person is, <sighs> there's something that was taken from this person that was very, it's, it's something material. Something material has been taken from this person. And I feel like they're like in this place of, Feeling stagnant and alone. Like lonely. I started hearing, I'm so lonely. Mr. Lonely. Is it Akon? It's an old ass song. But that's, that's, the, that's the song I started hearing. This may actually be a co-parent individual. This, like as far as co-parent, this could be um, somebody that you've actually had a child with. Doesn't necessarily have to be a grandparent. or It just feels like in some way this person felt more entitled to... Um, you and your child or you know it just feels like this person felt more entitled and they were actually being shown that they ain't shit or like they actually have no um power in regards to a certain situation okay and i feel like they're really in their head about this like i definitely feel like this person is seeing you wield a certain level of power that they didn't realize that you possessed. Um, I feel like, oh my God, I heard this person thought you were stupid. This person thought you were really dumb. And like, I feel like they thought that they could just walk all over you. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting airheads. Like I'm seeing airheads. Like I feel like this person thought that you were airheaded. All right. He's like, yes, you are an air sign, but you are like very intellectual and very smart. And it's like what they weren't seeing is you, you like, you're very, you're very, like you you know your shit and it's like this person thought that they could play you and get away with it basically is what's like and now they're feeling like they're the victim in something that they've created okay basically <laughs> what does the gemini need to know in this time Oh, should we pull them? I guess we're gonna see what's going on. We're just gonna pull them and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Hurting because they on the outskirts looking in. You know, y'all song was like blue, young blue. You is you you your mind still or something. Like I feel like that was actually in reference to this, actually. This is definitely somebody from your past, somebody that you've dealt with. Somebody who is really feeling lonely and left out and really thought that you would come back to them. Okay. I feel like this person might have put you through like a lot of toxic shit lovers like they thought you would always come back to them they could do their bullshit their sneakery they could fuck around on you they could you know talk to whoever they wanted to talk to and that you would still come back and give them a chance i feel like they had they thought that you would never leave they thought that the bounce like you they thought you loved this like they knew how much you loved them and i feel like you might have possibly given financially to this person at one point in time and they really thought that you wouldn't ever going to leave them or go anywhere they thought that like even if they weren't investing their time, energy, and effort into you. They felt like they could always come back. All right. And I feel like this person is actually realizing that you have moved on and left. Like, if you watch that video, old boy is, you mind still, like, he, he was sitting there um, ca calling up the girl because he saw on her Instagram that she was getting married or something. She saw on her social media that she was getting married. So he comes in up in there trying to bust down the door. Like, it's very delusional energy, honestly. Like, this girl's over here getting married. And if, speak now, forever hold your peace. He, he pops up over there trying to, you know, sabotage a wedding. So I feel like if you are actually in the process... <laughs> This bitch is crazy. Okay, so if you're in the process of trying to move on into a happy marriage relationship, just know that this person, the second that they see this, and they ain't going to think it's real until it's social media real, okay? And I feel like they've seen this social media. Like, there's something about your life that has been put on social media that they're finally seeing. And it's really putting them in a very emotional state that you're happy or that you've moved on. And they're like, you can't, like, you're mine. It's like, they, they felt like 
it didn't matter what they were doing. They could go and creep if they wanted to, sleep with who they wanted to, and that you would always be there waiting, okay? For some reason, they thought y'all's y'all's bomb was that tight, which that's, that's really fucked up on their end. But I feel like this person is, try is about to come and try to make an entrance back into your life. They're about to offer you something to try to get you to come back to them. Like, they're wanting to balance out the energies between the two of you. They're trying to come back. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. Like, <sighs> I feel like this person's going to come back and basically tell you that they've been working on themselves. Um, but I also feel like this person is, is in an illusional state, thinking that you're actually going to take them back. I feel like they're going to say something that's going to really trigger you and make you be like, like you really think, really? You're doing this now, okay? Like, I feel like in some way you're going to get some kind of satisfaction from whatever it is that they bring to you but i feel like it's just it's it's some bullshit okay like this person thought she was gonna wait you didn't wait and then now they they trying to come and swoop you up okay so just be just be mindful they're jealous somebody's definitely jealous about your relationship your partnership or what you've got going on they're stalking your social media mm -hmm. like this person is actually popping up at different places hoping to see you. Seriously. Fucking crazy. You're dealing with somebody fucking crazy. Alright. Second chances. Once again. The magician. King of Pentacles. Lord. If this person knows where you were. Don't be shocked if they show up there. Because that's really what I'm seeing. Like this person feels like you're theirs. Like they've already laid claims to you. And they're coming back to get what is theirs. Like what is rightfully theirs is what I heard. So I feel like this person is actually in the process of. I heard baggage crime. What the fuck? Like, I feel like this person, they might have been traveling at some point in time, testing the waters, trying to find the balance with their emotions, like seeing what it was that they wanted in life. All right. And I feel like they're really seeing that um, you, the grass is not greener on the other side. I feel like they are actually, they have been exploring and um, mastering themselves mastering their own emotions they've been focusing on figuring out how to make things work as far as i feel like this person didn't even know how to pay their own damn bills okay like i feel like this person has been learning something in regards to life and having to balance out everyday life all right and i feel like this person don't be shocked like i feel like you're gonna feel some type of way when this person like they're definitely about to make a Reappear, like they're going to reappear in your life. I feel like they're going to either come to you and bring you some, for some of you, it's going to be bringing you some kind of material gift or offering you something thinking that you can't refuse it. But I feel like they're actually coming with more than they have ever come with before. But it's only because they've seen um, what you're capable of or who you've, who you've become. They've seen who you've become, that you've bossed up. Like I feel like this person was definitely sleeping on you in the past. Um, they didn't see you for who you truly were. They didn't care who you were because they were all about themselves. Like, this was just a very fucking arrogant individual. And it's like they, they're they trying to smooth everything over now, all right? It's like they're like, no, you're mine. I'm coming back. You know, thinking they're going to reclaim a spot in your life. This, some, this, this is somebody who's about to, like, thinking, like, this person's delusional as fuck. Delusional as fuck. They think they're about to come and secure a position in your life. Mm-hmm. Like, if you were already with somebody, they think that that person's just, like, they were just holding a spot for them, keeping a spot warm for them, and it's time for them to move over because they're coming back to reclaim the throne. That's really what I'm saying. Don't be surprised. Do not be surprised because I really feel like that's really what's coming in this time. You may be getting hit up from this person. This person may send you a message. Mm -hmm. What'd I say? What I say, that arrogant ass individual. And if you are with somebody, they're gonna definitely come in and try to offer up some kind of third party situation. Basically, um, doing whatever they gotta do to come in and fuck some shit up for you. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny that that alarm went off right there. Ah, on the money. All right. So this could possibly be a fire sign individual, Sag, Leo. Aries or somebody look whenever I pull that it could still be a water sign though because I feel like water signs are very emotionally driven 
okay and i feel like they're the ones to kind of be about that like be about that action and coming forth and you know putting everything out on the table like i feel like this person is definitely about to come back in and try to figure out how to reclaim what they've left behind all right and they're coming um they might possibly still have something going on as well but it's like they don't care they don't care they're just trying to get what's theirs reclaiming what is theirs is what they think they're doing all right Oh, <laughs> unclaimed baggage. Oh my God, that's terrible. Unclaimed baggage. I guess that's what the what the uh, name of this reading is about to be. Okay, what else did you need to know for today? Let's see what the guidance is. We're gonna put that down. What's the guidance? Guidance for Gemini for today. What's the guidance? Uh-oh, don't get caught on the wrong side of the fence. That's what I heard. Disconnect and boredom. Positive movement forward. Material harvest. What's not seen is I feel like you're actually, I feel like this person is actually a karmic individual. Okay? I feel like Spirit is definitely telling you to pay attention to where you are right now. What it took you to get to where you are right now. And realize what you went through. And really really try to figure out whether you are um, completely healed from a certain situation. Like if you have moved on to someone else. I feel like the person that you've moved on to is, is, your, happy, is your happy spot. Um, for those of you who are still single. It's like... Can you forgive this person for what they've done? All uh, right. Just, just, it's that positive movement forward, disconnect and boredom. I feel like, I feel like you really have moved on from this person. I feel like you are definitely coming into a very prosperous time where you're more so focused on the material world instead of your love life. I feel like this person has done something that it feels like unforgivable. Okay. This person has done something that you deem unforgivable. And Spirit's just saying to stay in the light. Don't let it drag you back down to this dark time. You have worked through these energies. Continue to work and stay strong in yourself. And do not backtrack. When I say don't backtrack, if you feel like this person's changed, you know that. Take it for, you know, everybody's situation is different. But do not let them take from you. Do not, if they are not adding to this, they are not worth your time. You do, you need to stay in the light because there's something about, like I know, like with each of you, this is different, but there's some kind of like something that's not completely healed in regards to what this person did to you. So like basically they're telling you to be smart with your movements. Mm -hmm. New beginning because you're entering a new stage in your life and you cannot afford to go back at this point. You cannot afford to um, to give up what you've worked so hard for. And I feel like it's your peace of mind. All right. So that's you guys' message. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.